Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, hello, my name is Kim. I go by Kimber Kiss Cosmic Queen here on YouTube. Well, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna do a twin flame reading today. The solar flashes have been insane and I really want to do a reading here and update in accordance to these solar flashes and your person and what's going on. Celebration just flew out with the nurture in reverse, perfectionism in the reverse. You know what I'm gonna do? I opposition and love this person loves you they're not admitting it they're not admitting it oh my god why let's channel some water codes why 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 aren't they admitting it They want to come towards you and reconcile something, but something's holding them back. They're like afraid. I think they feel like they know they owe you an apology, um, but they're afraid that you won't forget them or they're just trying to like sweep it under the rug so that you'll forget about it. But someone from your past is returning into your life. I don't know how you feel about that. Let's get a clarifier for this reconciliation card for everyone that's watching introspection like someone's coming out of the hermit phase they've done a lot of introspection now they're coming back or they already have shortly like maybe recently 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 okay so someone's also in a decision kind of point like but they'll triumph over this this could be you divine permanence because this person came back and you're like uh what do i do now what do i do now okay so let's see for those that are watching please Honeymoon in the reverse. Can I get a clarifier for this? That's too many. I think you're really attracted to this person and it's like the honeymoon phase. And so sometimes that gets in the way of your judgment, like your discernment. Let's get a clarifier for honeymoon. That's the truth. So the truth is not being hidden from you. The truth is known and I feel like this person really owes you an apology and you know it and you're you're kind of like putting up a wall between that truth and your knowing deception yeah see this person it's like they're wearing a mask continuously because they keep denying themselves from apologizing to you i feel like they really owe you quite a few apologies actually someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship as well like i feel like they're keeping a lot from you so, I mean, that's something that you're going to have to use your own discernment with, Divine Feminines. Competition. This person could feel like they're in competition with others. They feel like you might be a reputable or well-known person. And this person feels like a competitive energy. Um, like, wh when it comes to, like, getting your attention, maybe they feel like they're, they're competing with other people for you. Yeah, they're, they're frustrated, but this is also an illusion. That's the thing. Like, they feel like there's, like, a lot of competition surrounding you and your energy, but it's just an illusion, and it's like a facade that they're playing in their mind. Spirit wants you to love yourself first and not neglect yourself, divine feminines, okay? So keep that in mind. Like, remember, we're coming upon, like, Mercury retrograde, too, so keep that in mind, too. That's always about, like, people coming back, Um Calling in your soulmate. So they want you to keep a high frequency to call in your true soulmate. Okay, some of you may have already attracted your true soulmate, but they want you to not forget that. They want you to definitely keep a very high frequency. This is a huge message. Keep that high frequency going. The solar flash can feel draining, but it's also a very high frequency, which is why it feels draining because it's clearing out the old. So allow it to. Look, new love coming in. Did I not call it? I called it. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, okay? And I feel like as soon as you meet this new person, like, <laughs> it brings up disappointment from the old person. But that's good because the, the, the frequencies are transmuting themselves in the way, in accordance that they should. A rite of passage is this new person coming in. And the Empress. Yeah, so... Come out of your cage, they're saying. Come out of your cage. Come out of your uh, self-limiting beliefs. Because you're fulfilled already. Maybe it's letting you know, like, you don't need this past person. Like, you're already fulfilled. Like, this person maybe did not respect you. Did not, maybe they left you feeling disappointed and frustrated because they owed you apologies. They owed you that. And they didn't give you that. 
They didn't give you that. And you deserve that. You deserve to be loved. Yeah, you felt like it's too much work and you're exhausted. But there's so much passion there, which is what got you held up. It's understandable. But I feel like this past person, you need to let go. Like, even if there's romantic feelings, there's still... Maybe just focus on yourself for a little bit. Yeah, move away. Move away from the past. Go into the new. Yeah. The emperor just came out with power and courage. So... Your emperor will have the courage to come towards you. They're not going to be a skittish little boy. They're not going to leave you feeling all these types of way. It's going to be a new person that comes in with this love and power. It was just 555 on my clock on my phone. It might be different when I go to edit this. But the number 555 came up several times recently within the last two days. So that's all about a balanced change coming in. Three fives, three represents balance. Five represents change, a balanced change worth waiting for. This person's going to be worth waiting for, even if you haven't found them yet. They're going to be worth waiting for. It says very soon. As soon as I said, even if you haven't found them yet, very soon flew out on top of the emperor. So also they want you to make a list. They want you to jot down clearly everything that you want so that it can come to you because you deserve this love. And they want you to take time for you to really like write out like what it is that you don't want. Put a big X through that, rip it up and throw it away. Or you can just keep an X through it so you can be reminded of like when someone comes in with these characteristics to not like automatically jump into it because that's all you know. What you need is like what you don't know, which is love, okay? Because you are lovable. And this person is going to make you feel that, okay? It's not going to be codependent. It's not It's not going to have any of these weird frequencies attached to it. It's just going to be easy and effortless and amazing, okay? So remember that. And really write down your trust. Trust the universe. Trust yourself, Okay. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So whether I feel like someone was stabbed in the heart recently and they felt like maybe a cord was severed that you thought was supposed to be there, but maybe it wasn't. OK, so, yeah, don't be codependent about that. Trust the universe. Trust what they bring in. Trust what they kick out. OK, and it's safe for you to love. And I feel like if you've been stabbed in the heart or hurt in the past, you feel like this traumatic tie to it. But they want you to trust the universe. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And really tap into these solar flashes because that's what it's delivering. And it's actually transmuting a lot of these lower frequencies and helping you to open up your mind and your heart to even higher frequencies. And that's what this person is actually going to correlate and metaphorically, symbolically represent along with the sun. So I love you all. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. This is a short one today, but I just wanted to get one in for the solar flash. I love you. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.